Hi, everyone. We are very excited to have you join us for the day two of our Cornell Emerging Markets Institute's 10th anniversary conference. Uh, on behalf of our director, Lourdes Casanova, and the entire conference team, we would like to say a very big welcome. Continuing from the conversations yesterday uh, on the 10 years that changed the emerging markets, Mariana and I would be the host for today's event. Now I'll pass it on to Mariana to introduce our first speaker for the opening remarks. Thank you very much, Nambi, and good morning, everyone. Please join me at welcoming Professor Dean Mark Nelson of the Samuel Curtis Johnson Graduate School of Management at Cornell. <clears throat> Professor Nelson received his BBA from Iowa State University and his MA and PhD from Ohio State University. Nelson's teaching focuses on corporate financial reporting and intermediate financial accounting at the MBA and undergraduate levels. He has received 10 teaching awards, including Cornell's Apple Award for Teaching Excellence, the Russell Distinguished Teaching Award, and the inaugural Cook Prize for Graduate Teaching presented by the American Accounting Association. It's a pleasure to have you here, Dean Nelson, and the floor is yours. It's an absolute pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. Uh, again, I, I just want to join the chorus of people welcoming you to this 10th annual Emerging Markets Institute Conference, 10 years that changed emerging markets. Um, I have a, a two-part agenda in my, my comments today. First, I'd just like to provide a little bit of background about EMI and Johnson. And second, I'd like to give thanks to those who have made all of this possible. So first, Johnson. Uh, we're celebrating EMI's 10th anniversary and we're highlighting Johnson's commitment to research and teaching in emerging markets. So thinking about EMI, it's useful to think back to December of 2010, when three visionary alumni, Bob Staley, who's a BME class of 58, MBA class of 59, Nell Katie Cruz, BS 84 and MBA 85, and Rob Canizares, BS 71 and MBA 74. They got together and helped make all of this happen. Uh, the initial faculty directors uh, were Andrew Karolyi and Yaru Chen. And those two faculty actually joined Johnson and joined Cornell uh, in part because they were so excited about the opportunities uh, that EMI would be providing. So much has happened since then. We have over 300 alumni from our Emerging Markets Fellows Program. 61 graduated last July from our MBA programs in Ithaca and at Cornell Tech and our EMBA program. We have more than 100 students currently enrolled in the EMI Fellows Program. In this conference, EMI is launching its report on emerging multinationals. We're having the fourth EMI case competition with 160 students participating in five final schools Cornell, IIM ba Bangalore, IIM uh, Mepudab, uh, University de los uh, Andes in Colombia, and the University of Technology in Sydney. And finally, we have our first pitch competition. We have 10 finalists from around the world. So we have the Tecnológico de Monterrey from Mexico, from Argentina, Universidad de los Andes, from Brazil, two schools, University de Sao Paulo, and FGV Brazil, South Korea, Yonsei University, Nigeria, Lagos Business School, Spain, IE Business School, India, IIT, Kanpur, Colombia, Universidad de los Andes, and uh, rounding us out, USA, Cornell. Uh, that's a great list of schools and obviously joining us from throughout the world. We have programs more broadly in Johnson that have built on the success of EMI, that have been inspired in part by what's happening in EMI. In China, in 1915, we launched our MBA FMBA program in collaboration with Tsinghua University. In Latin America, we've expanded our America's EMBA program to include Mexico City, Monterrey, Santiago, Chile, and Lima, Peru. And of course, we have executive education with Fundasao Foundation. Clearly, much is happening relevant to emerging markets. And I'm proud to note that Johnson ranks in the top 10 in international business, according to Business Week. Well, there's a lot to be thankful for. So I have the opportunity to give thanks. That's one of the things that deans do. Uh, so I'd like to start by highlighting two people who've done much for EMI and Johnson. 
And that's our colleague, Rob Canizares, and his spouse, Gail. Rob recently endowed the Gail and Rob Canizares Directorship of the Emerging Markets Institute, and also increased the scholarship support that they provide to Johnson. Rob and Gail are longstanding supporters of Johnson and the EMI, and Rob currently serves on the board of the EMI, as well as on the executive committee of Johnson's Advisory Council. In 2016, Rob was recognized by Johnson with the Carlos Quintanilla Distinguished Latino Award. So please join me with a round of virtual applause, thanking Gail and Rob for their wonderful support. My eyes are, my, my hands are in the air. I also want to acknowledge the support of Henry Renard, the Ada Kent Howe Foundation, Nell Katie Cruz, and John Lynn, uh, who's a, 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 a member of our Cornell Tech 21 class. Uh, these are people who are also helping to make this happen, supporting it. Another round of applause. And now let me dig into the people that are really, really putting this conference on. Let's not forget our EMI fellows and our co-presidents of the conference organizing committee, as well as other students who've put a lot of work into this entire event, the case competition. I'm just gonna go with first names because I've got a bunch of people here. So I'll say Daniel, Maria, uh, Gaurav, Namdi, David, Mariana, uh, James, John, uh, Amanda, Swapnil, and Gabrielle, and of course, Diane. How about another round of applause? And you're allowed to clap for yourself, it's okay. Thanks to the staff who are putting this on. We have people involved in project management, digital marketing and logistics, and of course the EMI team. So to Mamuksha, you've been a great project manager. Mark Yeager is keeping us rolling technically. Thank you for what you're doing. And then of course, there's the EMI team and researchers. Yudes Lopez, Daniel Dos Anjos, Vanitha Pachava and Claudia Kokoska, sorry, Claudia. Without you, the report wouldn't have been possible. And Mahika and Vertika, thank you so much for your support. Many, many people obviously have made this possible. Finally, of course, you can't have a conference without presenters. So faculty, featured guests, attendees, students, alumni, speakers, thank you. And finally, I don't wanna forget our conference partners, so that's EMNet, uh, Emerging Multinationals Research Network, TNCR, World Bank. Only one last person to thank. And that's the person who I think of as uh, the, the driving force behind everything that we have going on at EMI. And that's our colleague, Lourdes Casanova, the Gail and Rob Canizares director. None of this would be happening without her very hard work. So one last round of applause to acknowledge all I've thanked and particularly Lourdes. Please let her go. All right. Well, hopefully that caught you up a little bit about EMI and a little bit about Johnson. And now at this point, uh, I can go ahead and turn it back to the conference uh, coordinators. And I believe, Mariana, it's back to you. Thank you, Dean Nelson, for the words and for kicking us off to a great start for our Saturday morning.